<laughs> so you think you know how Santa Claus became Father Christmas, eh? <laughs> well, think again. stolen toys in me cabin and make it snappy, you barnacle butts. Oh, and before I retire to count me booty, I've a teensy question for yous. Who pooped in a peanut barrel? Who pooped in the peanut barrel? Ah! Uh, sorry, Captain. You see, I was walking in me sleep and I must have mistaken it for the toidy. Shut up! <laughs> Now I'll be in me cabin counting me toys. Don't nobody dare disturb me. Ah! Deliver to the poor wee one's ah! orphanage. Ah! Signed, Captain Santa Maria Clausewitz Kringle. Me little ones, I owes you this and much, much more for what me and me brother stole o'er the years. Speaking of me brother, it be time for a little nine pin. Dear sweet brother, oh, you fat mangy bearded blubber bucket. It's time for bowling on the main deck. Don't forget to grab your balls. Hey, huh? Divided by pi, that adds up to... Ah! Oh, Capron, the poor lads lose again. Imagine that. Oh, sorry, mateys. Now pay up, your swabs! <laughs> thank you, thank you for your tax-deductible contribution. Ah! He cooked the box! Ah! Dingle cooked the box! Cook the box? Hey, cook oh, the box! Oh, 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 what am innocence, I tell you? It were Dingle what fudged the figures. Why, you scurvy dog. He made me do it. Did not. Did you? You made it. Did not. Did you?
mystical people. Bagger! Candle! We've got company! They look like hairy monsters to me. Lex, what the dingle bobs are they? And what are you gonna do with them? Thaw them out. Oh, not that stupid ball again. Are you cracked? Never thaw out monsters. Oldest rule in the book. Well, stand back, because I'm rewriting the book. <laughs> Him? Who him? I mean, I mean him who? I mean, who the cranberries is him? That's him. White beard. White beard? You numbskull. That's an old elf's tale. Look, they're cracking open like boiled sea serpent eggs. Look out! <gasps> Did not! Did you, lion sea snake? Snitch! I said don't thaw them out, but did you listen to me? No. Lex, freeze them back! <laughs> <laughs> Lex, forget the ball, will ya? But I can't do magic without it, Bagger. I says freeze him, but does he listen to me? No. Uh, I must have had it in reverse. Hey, I know that jig. It's a pants on fire fandango. Key of F sharp. I'm scared. You set the giant's butt on fire. Don't worry, Candle. He's the great white beard. He won't touch a hair on our heads. <laughs> Who be you, sniveling pipsqueaks? <laughs> Short legs, puny heads, and pointy ears. Oh, I heard a wee folk. Elves, you be called, hmm? Uh, <laughs> Your name, Elf? M -m -m my name is Lex. I saved you and your pet rat from the ice, Whitebeard. Pet rat? Prepare to meet your maker, Squirt! Ah! Huh? Huh? What is this strange and magical place? It's the North Pole. Welcome to you and your pet rat, Whitebeard. <laughs> That rat is me half-brother, Dingle, to whom I'm bound forever by blood. And I, Captain Santa Maria Clausewitz Kringle, am forever indebted to you for saving me life. Why are the places that we bow into these shrimps? For starters, Dingle, they thought us out and saved us from D.B. Jones' locker. Hey, you two wouldn't be pirates now, would you? Pirates? <laughs> uh, what gives you that idea? Me brother and me, well, we're... Uh, 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 shoe salesmen. Uh, uh, right, and we specialize in... Uh, clogs. Hmm. The Whitebeard story didn't mention any clog salesmen. Uh, uh, and what do you lads do in this wondrous place? We make double bobbins. Right. Double bobbins. What in the cripes are double bobbins? Come on, I'll show you. Fun will work be done. Ugh, what a bunch of baloney. B 
baloney. It's our sacred creed, you butt scratching baboon. <laughs> uh, never mind me, hot headed brother. Uh, now, what exactly are these double bobbins? Through here. See for yourself. Double bobbins are toys. <laughs> It's all becoming clearer. How oh, I love to steal toys from the wee bratties. Uh, he means give them away to the kiddies. <laughs> uh, that'd be what we like to do. could steal every toy from here to Timbuktu. <laughs> well, what you do with them? The deeble babbin, double boobin, uh, uh, double bobbins? Double bobbins, that is, yeah. We play with them, and then store them in that mountain over there. And that one, and that one. Holy jingle bells, lad, there must be- 10 trillion and counting. Santi, my brother? We have hit the mother load. Don't you be thinking what I'm thinking, you be thinking. Santa, we are pirates. We plunder from the weak and the helpless, tie them up, steal all their... <laughs> 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 uh, poor lad's still a wee bit delirious. Santa, they're on to us. Get me that, you... Uh, that's mine. No, you don't know how to use that. No! Uh-oh. Call my lawyer. Whitebeard, what the canoodle was that? Uh, it's, uh, well, it's uh, me favorite game, lad. <laughs> bowling. Uh, elf bowling, that is. <laughs> Whitebeard's favorite game is elf bowling! Oh, hey, oh, Whitebeard! Why in the blue blazes do they keep calling you Whitebeard, and why are you playing along? Look at all these toys, Dingle. These elves possess magic. If I can trick this Lex into conjuring us up a ship, we can hunt down them scallywags what made us walk the plank. <laughs> Are you with me? <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Are you sure this fat sells white beard? Well, he's got the beard, doesn't he? Uh, what are they doing? It's a surefire sign they like you, Whitebeard. Uh, why don't you just call me Santa, lad? Okay, Santa. And now, presenting the best pastry chef in all of Elfton, Griselda! Oh, Whitebeard, you're such a big one. In honor of your arrival, my specialty, steaming hot strudel! Strudel? Happens to be my favorite dish in the whole world, my lass. Brother, you keep your hot strudel in your pants. We've got to get back to pirating, you sappy swab. Psst. Hey, buddy. What do you want? Can I interest you in some hot mittens? They just fell off the truck. Beat it! Hey, how about some smoked anchovies? Split pinochle. Oh. Now you're talking, Bernie. Uh, now, about that schooner, Lex, uh, me and the Dingle got some scores to settle. I, I, I mean, uh, business to take care of. So if you could kindly conjure one up with that magic ball. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're Whitebeard. You've come to lead us, and we're here to help you. 
I got it. You give away toys, right? Well, we make toys. And your point is? It's destiny. You can give away the toys we make to children every day of the week. Mm. Nah, too much work. Besides, if them brats, I mean little darlings, got free toys all the time, they'd be spoiled silly. Now, back to that schooner. Okay, okay. How about you just give them the toys on one special day of the year? Only work one day a year? Plus a few parades and mall openings. But the bottom line is, you got free room and board. And all the food and candy you can eat. And after it's invented, you get free cable. Oh, and don't forget my strudel. You've got a deal. A deal? The shrimps hypnotized me own brother. This ain't gonna be good for business. With this elf hat, I hereby make Whitebeard an honorary member of the Toy Makers and Transporter Society and International Brotherhood of Elves. Without further ado, let me introduce to you the stars of our toy making extravaganza. First, there's Rapple, who's in charge of packaging. Yo, yo, when the presents need wrapping, I'm the one makes it happen. My feet start tapping, my hands keep a clapping. Yeah! And Bagger, who's in charge of shipping. Thanks, Lex. You know, Santa, my trademarked expandable bag can carry over 10 billion toys. Oh, it took years of R&D. Hey, and dealing with the patent office was a real nightmare. Let me tell Thank you. Thank you, Bagger. Yeah! <laughs> Last but not least, there's Candle, our entertainment director. But I don't do requests. Yeah! That's because he only knows one song. Any questions? I got me a question, Pinocchio. Are you gonna whip us up a schooner or not? Thanks, Dingle. I almost forgot. Santa will need a ship to transport all those toys. Uh, that's not what I meant. Hold everything! Santa, if you're gonna be in business with elves, you gotta remember this one important thing. When Rapple Stillskin wraps a package, it seems a simple thing. Just paper, tape, and ribbons, but there's more. For Lex to use his magic orb, for Candle's pipes to sing, there's something else that always comes before. And it's that Elves need to be happy, their hearts must bring with joy, for it is only a happy elf who is able to make toys. This requirement seems simple, as natural as can be, but when business enters into it, all bets are off, you see. Because some people become different when money's involved. They can be real jerks or tyrants or just lame. Then what was once a pleasure becomes a total drag. And everything sucks and we can't do our work. And everything is miserable and terrible, unbearable and totally awful. And everything's ruined. But never fear, for I have the solution to all these woes. A formalized agreement. And this is how it goes. Oh, elves better be happy. Their hearts must brim with joy. For only a happy elf is contractually obligated to make toys. If you want things to go smoothly, read Clause 3. Section 13, subsection 8, paragraph 16b, and 
and I quote, condition proceed to all obligations made herein. A state of high morale must be maintained with no chagrin or annoyance, irritation, exasperation, constipation, or maladies described in section 10. The if and ergus we know work a doctrine shall apply enforced by the bombometer machine which shall decry whether such mood exists or not for tempers to run cold or hot enough to say all work must stop. Because it's now a bummer. And so, you see, the enforced contingency, oh, else better be happy, you better not make them feel crappy. Don't bomb us out, don't bomb us out, or with papers you'll be slappy. Else better be happy, so the merry arms get sore, so you best be up to cheer and check any negative crap at the door. I won't sing. <laughs> and so the elves and I began an enterprise that was destined to change all of history. And as an added bonus, the elves' magic bestowed immortality on the Dingle and me. But even then, me poor misguided brother, oh, he was still a pirate at heart. For all the while, we were bringing joy to tykes around the world. Dingle concocted a number of schemes, I, I mean, enterprises, all on his own. But despite Dingle's scam in nature and run-ins with the law, what began as me own scam to work one day a year became a lifelong friendship filled with love and the gift of giving to children around the world. And just when I bailed out me brother for the billionth time, love was in the air like the scent of fresh strudel. Everything had come together, everyone was happy, and I was busting to show him me hearty appreciation. For 1,400 years of uh, hard work, your own bowling alley! <laughs> Be a candy! Mwah! Zelda, where are me tacos? And don't be forgetting the extra jalapenos. That's it. I know he's your brother, darling, but enough is enough. He's nothing but a schemer, a scoundrel, and a mooch. It's either my strudel or a dead wet noodle. You're right, Grizz. Enough's enough. Look, Dingle, now that Grizzy and me are married, 
well, it's time you got a place of your own. You must have noticed by now that I've turned over a new leaf. Oh, and now you want me to leaf, is that it? Why, you lily-livered rat, throwing your own brother out. What is it, Bagger? Santa, we gotta talk about the union demands. We need snow cones on Thursday, cotton candies on Friday, <sighs> bubblegum breaks every 15 minutes, and... Not now, Bagger. We'll talk about it at the game. Santa, you've been dodging me for weeks. Now, union rules stay... Bagger, I'm losing you. Your bubble reception's about to burst. Unions. No hard feelings, Dingle, but you've been sleeping on me couch for 600 years. You got one week to find yourself a nice bachelor igloo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it! Imbeciles, front and center! Yes, boss! What was that for? For the stupid things I know you're going to do when I'm not around. Find yourself a bachelor igloo, he says. Well, I am sick of being second banana. I need you boys to do something for me. We've got to split up Santa and Lex so I can pull the old switcheroo and take over Christmas. It's time to bring the fat man down. Because this time, Santa ain't coming to town. <laughs> the Constitution and Bylaws of the Basic Agreement State. Oh, that... Excuse me. What is it, Candle? We got a problem. The toy counts off by six billion units. Six billion? Blistering barnacles! Who's in charge of the inventory? That'd be Lex, Santa. Lex? I can't believe it. Good work, my tuxedoed imbeciles. Now's the time for me to take control. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you swabs, listen up. I propose trimming some fat in the company's infrastructure. That fat is my brother. We all know I should be running this joint, so I'm challenging my belly full of blubber brother to bowl for Christmas. Winner takes all! Well, well, I didn't know you felt that way, me brother. So it's a duel for all the marbles, is it? <gasps> Santa, no! Even though he's a complete idiot, it's still too risky, darling. Riz, I never shrunk from a challenge, and I ain't about to start now. Besides, I've been perfecting a new shot guaranteed to clean me brother's clock. <gasps> I accept! Let's bow! Hold on to your armpits, it's time for... Bowling for Christmas! Well, Rapple, whoever wins this match of all matches becomes the big kahuna of Christmas. That's right, Lex. And the stands are filling with fans. Yay! Yeah, whoop it, dingo! Yay! 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 Whatever. The game's about to begin! And already our two athletes are in the middle of controversy. Santa's having a beef with his manager. And Dingle's having a problem with his warm-up. <laughs> Santa 
Dakota and Dingle will bowl one ball. Winner takes all. Yeah. Rappel, what do you think about Santa's form? 600 years of Griselda Strudel has really beefed up the old boy, which won't hurt a bit when he throws that ball. Rappel, what's Dingle doing? Looks like he's counting the pins. Seven, eight, yup, there's only eight pins. No, wait, here come the last two. Huh. Something screwy's going on. Dingle's concentrated, determined to make a strike. And the elves are doing their best to psych him out. Imbeciles! <laughs> Get ready! Ready, boss. Ooh! Looks like Dingle's using the old stop and stretch technique. That's right, Lex. A truly moronic move. And we see his ball glide towards the gutter. Imbeciles fall over, fall over! Huh? Oh, yeah. What a perplexing pinfall, folks, and listen to them booze. Wow, if the Dingmeister can pull that off, I can't wait to see what Thana can do. Oh. Oh. Folks, the fate of Christmas depends entirely on Santa, who steps up to bowl. Nice shot, Dingle, but you ain't one yet. Neither of you. Uh, <laughs> Too bad, Santy Wanty. <sighs> yes, I control Christmas, Santa. Well, I, I guess you beat me, Dingle. Here's the key to me workshop. Wait a minute, Dingle, Dingle cheated. Dingle. It wasn't me! It was those penguins, I tell you! The penguins! Which means Santa wins! you flightless birds, listen up. So, you'll be there while well, I am here, making sure everything goes as planned. Are there any questions? Oh, oh, oh. Yes, imbecile number one. Hey, look, boss, I can do your mom. Uh. <laughs> any other questions? What, imbecile number two? I just used the boys' room, and we ran out of aromatic spray. Can we get potpourri this time? Shut up! Now, let's get down to business. Imbecile number two, have you got your fishing pole? Yeah, boss. Imbecile number one, have you sabotaged the candy cane machine? Yeah, boss. Well, that being the case, Mr. Maestro, please. You're evil. <laughs> you have a certain responsibility to take great pleasure in doing things which are very, very wrong. Now, gentlemen, our current situation presents us with a certain opportunity which I think I can best express with a little song. I love a mutiny, backstabbing betrayal, yeah, that's for me. There's nothing finer in the 
seven seas than a good old-fashioned mutiny. I pickpockets, looted, robbed, and a thousand betting scams. But nothing will satisfy half as much as screwing up Santa's nappy pappy plans. I'm telling you, nothing brings more glee than a rootin' tootin' mutiny. Man, this is something I gotta see. Yeah, count me in on this evil spree. You and me and mutiny go together like a frog and Lex, the toy count's still off. I know, I know. The orb's on the blink again. Christmas is in two weeks, and we're still short six billion toys. Oh, you swabs are killing me. Lex, in all our years, we never been short ten toys, let alone six billion blistered toys. Max, <laughs> you broke the candy cane machine. Yes, you're wrecking the workshop. I'm wrecking the place. Lose count to the toys. Then you short the machines. Now you blast me, girlfriend Strudel. I didn't do nothing. Did too. Did not. Did too, you loopy elf knucklehead. Oh, yeah? That's it. I quit. Well, you can't quit, because you're fired. Okay, okay. Quit gawking. Show's over. Nothing to see here. Get about your business, huh? Go on. It ain't like Christmas is over or nothing like that. Is it? Oh, Santi, Santi, we've got an emergency. After your little run-in with that pipsqueak, he went mental and walked out onto the ice. What? No, he's floating out to sea, and a storm is horizon. I know it's Christmas, but I think it's a nor'easter. <laughs> well, uh, there's, uh, there's no time to lose. I gotta save me poor little buddy. Ah, uh, you won't be needing this. <laughs> Wouldn't want you to lose it. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, I guess you're right. I've got to hurry! So long, Santy. See you in, uh, Cincinnati. <laughs> Calling all shrimps, calling all shrimps. Listen up. Santa said if there's an emergency, I'm in charge. Well, there is, and I am. What did he, what say? Did he say? Oh, Dingle, don't be ridiculous. You couldn't run a waffle iron. Ah, pipe down, you strudled slinging Jezebel. It's your fault Santa got goo goo eyes and turned against his own brother. Ah! <laughs> ding, 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 
Oh, ah, take your strudel and scram, you floozy. Ouch! <laughs> Shut up and get back to work! Santa's here. Yo, Santa, nice day for a swim. <laughs> Shiver me timbers. I've been hornswoggled. Santa, you jerk. Nobody talks to me that way. I'm an elf-made man. <laughs> What's going on? What's it say, Lex? Yeah, Lex, what's it say? All elves stink? Especially Lex. Sincerely, Santa. The partnership is over! <gasps> the saps bought it. What'll we do? It looks to me like there's only one thing you can do. Legally, that is. Dingle's right. No bowling means no fun. And no fun means no work. We're on strike! But, Bagger, Christmas is right around the corner. What'll we do? Hmm. What will you do? Well, since everything's in cinders and since Santa flew the coop, how's about we use a little bit of the old elf magic and build us a new joint in the funnest place on Earth? Where might that be, Dingle? Kuba? Disneyland? Oh, you idiots! I mean, elves have never sailed the seven seas. So let me hip you to an island where your buttocks never freeze. It's called B, 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 G, where the bikinis are so teeny weeny. Every elf drives his own Lamborghini brew in B, B, G. Oh, thinking of B, G, I get fidgety. It's never even hazy. Any elf who does a dig, it must be crazy. 
shop steward of Elf Local 462, I say we give Fiji a try! All in favor? <laughs> Lex? Well, I guess since Santa fired me. And we gotta save Christmas. We're going to Fiji! It could have been Grizzly Adams, too. I tell you, she was the sweetest boy ever. She had it all. And then she meets up with this internet geek online and bada boom. She's off to Cancun for tequila and body shots. So, I shoot her an email. <laughs> Shut up! I'm dictating me memoirs and I need complete silence. Ahem. <clears throat> From Poop Deck to Penthouse, the story of Dingle Kringle, the genius pirate who made a killing on Christmas. Oh, that's good. Chapter One. As I scour the South Pacific in search of a new workshop, I reminisce about me Christmas takeover, making me net worth somewhere in the upper billions. <laughs> You must be Jingle, the one worth billions. <laughs> I mean, the one with the billion dollar looks. <laughs> F.I.I. I, wench, I, I. Mine is a fascinating tale. You see, when old Dingle was but a Too much lad... detail, darling. Let's see no wedding ring, ridiculous clothing. I'll bet you've never kissed a girl. Uh, oh, there, are you kidding? Winter's fight over the old dingleberry. How about a wet one? <laughs> You're such a hunk. <laughs> but I don't date without medical records. Just had me a checkup. Dingle's medical history. Check if you have festering sores, blistering boils, oozing lesions, unexplained body odor, hellacious halitosis, etc. Charming. <laughs> so you're taking over Christmas. Why, yes, yes. Finally finagled it away from my brother and his loopy wife. That'd be her. First lady of Christmas. Blah. The first lady of Christmas. you set up your new workshop at my personal resort in Fiji? <laughs> oh, you're on, Wench, you're on. Let's seal it with a kiss. <laughs> oh, lassie, you petrifies me peg leg and makes me heart pound. Ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. <laughs> Oh, dingy wingy. Feast your eyes on your new workshop. <laughs> Just sign on the liney whiny, and I'll control, I mean, 
We'll control Christmas. <laughs> Dang. Go. Hey, Hem. Hey, kid, do you mind? No. Uh, yes. Mind what? You're standing on my skirt. Oh, sorry. Nice ornament, kid. Ornament? Yeah, nifty. Well, anyway, greetings officially. I'm a Chief Manamatum. Welcome to Fiji, where life, love, and especially fun reign supreme. And a one, and a two. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Ah, but I screwed up everything. Lex hates me, and the workshop went kablooey. Are the elves okay? Yes, but they're all gone. Dingo took them to Fiji, and he's taking over Christmas. Well, it was fun while it lasted, Grizz. I guess it's over now. Over? It wasn't chance that brought you to the elves like a big frozen fish stick. It was destiny. Destiny? Yes, it was meant to be. Whitebeard, giving the greatest gifts to children everywhere. You're right. I'm no crooked old pirate. I'm Santa Claus, a cultural icon. And no one's gonna keep me from my destiny. Pack me sleigh, Grizzy. I'm going to get me elves and save Christmas. Maybe I should come meet you, yeah? <laughs> Not this time, Grizz. This is between me and me brother. Well, you better hurry, because there's not much time left. Dingle, you better watch out, you surly clown. Cause Santa Claus is coming to town! I'll send a cab for you, Grizzy! Ho oh, ho ho! Imbeciles, listen up! Yes, yes boss. boss! We've got to get these elves working. What's your plan, boss? You mean, where's my plan? Right there! Oh. Oh, 
you party animals. What do you say we form a conga line to the fun factory? Hey, what? Let me in! Must make toys, twinkle in the wall. Must make toys, twinkle in the wall. Must make toys, twinkle in the Thank you, thank you, my little elfin slaves. Welcome to the workshop of the future. All right, you swabs, start making toys! What the? Too weird! Make it snappy! Bagger! Bagger? Candle! Snap out of it! Dingle, you let them loose! Santa would have kicked your butt for this! Yeah, well, Santy's in the frozen food aisle, and you're about to check out! Price check on minced elf meat. <laughs> Give me that thing. Hey. Goodbye, Lex. Thank you for shopping. To-do list. Get rid of annoying elf. Check. Next on the list are the eight billion toys we'll need built and bagged before takeoff. Here are the invoices. What invoices? Well, sweetiekins, I thought we'd build the children for their Christmas presents. Oh, genius, my little pawpaw, genius. Them brats can afford it. Tack on a 300% markup for packaging, handling, and uh, reindeer feed. Oh, where was I? Oh, yeah. Ahem. Uh-oh, I think he's about to sing. Let me serenade thee, my juicy pineapple. Let me get my earplugs. Slavery makes the world go round. It's easy enough to see. What could be better than making people sweat for you? I'll tell you, forcing them to do it for free. Slavery throughout history has made many a scoundrel will to do. For there's nothing in this world quite as profitable as involuntary servitude. Oh, yes, it's easy to be powerful, the richest man around. If you keep in mind that through all time, the dirty and low down have known that slavery is the best game in town. It makes the world go round. Now get to work! Ahem. You're sitting on my skirt. You ever consider shorts? Yes, but I like the easy breezy feel. <gasps> oh! <sighs> You're starting to get the picture, elf boy. Yeah. Ow! About time you retire that little ornament of yours. And... What What are you saying? Don't you have a someplace you need to be? You're right! The elves! I gotta save the elves! Thanks, Chief! <laughs> it's like pulling the crocodile teeth. <sighs> to his old tricks he is. Well, Dingle, time to take back what's mine. Hard to starboard me, buckos, and take us down gently. I mean, Jingy Wingy. Yeah, it's me walking Fantasy Island. Um, weren't you supposed to be building a sleigh? How else are we going to transport eight billion toys by midnight? 
Oh, right, right you are, my booby lip rutabaga. What the? It can't be. It's impossible. But it is. Where the Feliz Navidad did he come from? Oh, track me down, did he? Come to think of it, me fun bag wielding winch. I won't be needing no sleigh, but I will be needing some bodyguards. Orby, do your stuff. Let me totally give it up to your awesome jingleness. Yeah, dude, like you rock. Listen up, granite heads. Me main competitor's about to drop in for a hostile takeover. Lock and roll! We got your back, Dingle Dude. Totally. Ho, ho, ho! Sorry, Cappy. This area's for employees only. Who are you, weaselly, rotten, double-crossing, Christmas-stealing runt? <laughs> Try me cutlass on for size. No, you try this. <laughs> oh. Santa lost his egg. <laughs> <laughs> Would you mind taking a snapshot of Santy on the beach from his scrapbook? With him buried up to his fat head? <laughs> Let go of me, you unhinged Stonehenge! Now, back to me memoirs. From Poop Deck to Penthouse, Chapter 7. How I Met Me Fijian Floozy. Can't do this to me. I'm an international celebrity. <laughs> yeah, right, dude. It's the truth, I tell you. Google me name, you swab, and you'll see it a billion gazillion times. Say cheese, gnarly old dude. Uh, while you got the phone out, call me in and order a takeout strudel. I'm dying down here. Santa, what are you doing here? Lex, me boy, get me out of here. First. Tell me why you wrote that letter saying elves stink. I never wrote any letter. Oh, I see. Dingle tricked us all, including me. It was you that made me realize the truth, that I didn't need to be ashamed of giving toys and happiness to all the children of the world. And despite being a big, grouchy bag of blubber, it's you, Max, who will always have a place deep in me heart as me closest friend and as the kindest dearest little elf for them all. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a chick flick, except instead of smoking babes, dude, it's a bunch getting a fat guy. <laughs> oh, here you go. Just don't tell his dingleness. Santa, we gotta go. Uh, thanks, sir. Uh... Toy quota. Our profits will be a sweet 2.6 trillion on Christmas morning. With 12% ladies, we should rake in a cushy 6 trillion. 
Halliburton, Louia. Another year like this and I can afford TiVo. Mm-hmm. Liftoff is in 35 minutes and counting. Right. Imbeciles, load the bag in the sleigh. Yes, boss. Santa, the elves are all in there. Hmm. We've got to get past Granite Head. Hello. Thought you might need my help. Chief. Santa. Santa. Chief. Santa? Oh, I want the fire truck and a no chicken a bone and necklace and a no box of fire sticks and... Make a list. Right. Meantime, I brought you the most powerful weapon on the island. reference book. How about... No, no, that won't work. Maybe... No. Santa, there's got to be some way to turn this whole mess around. Yes, but how? Bleep am I? Yeah, and what the bleep's happening? Huh, how come my underwear's on backwards? It's working, Santa! All right, listen up, me groggy elf friends. We got us an emergency. Why should we listen to you? You said elves stink. Dingle tricked us. He wrote that letter, not Santa. <gasps> And he's trying to steal Christmas from right under our noses! Let's get him, elves! You see, Santi? I got me the toys, I got me the sleigh, and I got me the orb. Now nobody can stop me from taking over Christmas! <laughs> Dingle you! <laughs> ah, who's the bomb now, Santi? <laughs> Jasper, on Flasher, on Nixon, I, I don't know your names, just go. Shanda? Why, if it isn't the First Lady of Christmas. Um, how about if I kick your butt and take your job, okay? <laughs> 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 The problem! You are sweet, but not for long. You two tense. Have some strudel. Mm. 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 Why, this is the most delicious strudel I've ever tasted. I simply must try another. Boy, Santa, I hope that sleigh's got an airbag. He can't hold on. He's too fat. 
Wait, I know what to do. Dingle, we both fall. Ah! Oh, rats, the old buzzard's right. Well, in that case, you belly full of blubber, I'm making a second public challenge. Listen up, you swabs. Dingle demands a rematch. I propose Santi and me bowl for Christmas again. Once and for all, winner takes all. I accept, but this time it's Super Elf Bowling! So, once again, folks, it's time for Super Elf Bowling for Christmas! Well, Rapple, this is the biggest game in Fijian bowling history. Yo, Lex, it's the only one. And it's pitting brother against brother for the Christmas purse. I mean bag. I mean sack. I mean box. I mean, yeah, you know what I mean. Hey, 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 Imbeciles, do you know what to do? Yes, boss. Rapple, now our first contestant steps up to bowl for the whole enchilada. Enchilada? I thought we was bowling for Christmas. Lex, what would the Yuletide be without the traditional Christmas enchilada? Dingle, who won the elf toss, will bowl first. The pins are raring to go, and Dingle grabs his first ball. Rapple, tonight our players are using coconuts, which could create big problems. That's right, Lex. The fuzz on those balls may cause wind resistance and make a strike impossible. And now Dingle starts his throw. Ah! Ooh, you're right, Rapple. These may be the worst balls in bowling history. Yes, yes. Come on, boys. Come on. Yes! Burn, baby, burn! Holy Kazinkas! Something's got a hold of Dingle's ball. It's on fire! <laughs> and it's a massive strike! Yes! Yes! Ah! 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 Beat that, Santi! is the bomb. <laughs> this is it, Rapple. The fate of Christmas as we know it depends on this next ball. Imbeciles! We're supposed to blow up before he threw the ball. Ah. <laughs> hey, Lex, what's happening? <coughs> But the smoke is clearing, and the pins are untouched. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't believe this, but Dingle actually wins? <laughs> I'm the new king of Christmas, and she's my new queen. Wait! Bola! Bola! Wait! Dingle Whoa. cheated! Watch the instant replay. Proves it. Uh, Lex, I don't know what the bowling rule book says, but uh, looks like we may have missed the grease gun and the bomb. Which means Dingle cheated again, and Santa wins! Yeah, it was them blasted pig ones! 
What about me? Hmm? I was supposed to be the first lady of Christmas! Incoming! Wah -ha! Penguins, the penguins! Oh, where's the penguins? It's Dingle! Me poor brother's a celestial ornament! Wah! Ready for takeoff! And we made it just in time, thanks to you, laddie. No, thanks to you, Santa. Ah, Christmas is for Sharon, Lex. Let's just say thanks to us. No time to race, darling. Hurry, the children are waiting for their toys. All systems go. Hey, Santa, how about a flyby of the North Pole for old time's sake? Yeah, I think we can squeeze it in, laddie. <gasps> Watch this, Santa. <laughs> That's me, boy. Looks like we're back in business. On Dunner, on Blitzen, on Cupid, on Vixen. Yo ho ho! And a bottle of. <clears throat> he means. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night! <laughs>